I was a young, shiny freshman. It, is, it was me to ask many questions to elders, and years months passed by. I graduated become older, but still shiny. And it is my turn to answer many newcomers' questions. And the most impressive question to me is that how to choose a speech topic. Hmm, so I reply, maybe you can say about your travel experience, your the activities you attend, your core value of life, your habits, and yeah, and of course your department. Then it makes me start to think, my department, electrical engineering, how can I start with that? Talking about electricity, if it is physics, then I can talk about we the angry bird, the movement of it. But in electrical engineering, what I can say is only about complicated, complicated formulas. And then if it is Chinese literature, then I can talk about the beauty of words, the usage. But again, I need electrical engineering. So what I can say is only about <laughs> this kind of electrical circuits. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah. If I didn't learn this, I might mistake it as some secret science for the aliens want to contact us by this. <laughs> Just like a crop circle. Uh, do you see these two have something in common? Yeah, one of it. And another is, is that we both don't know what they are trying to say. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, so my life as E begin. I still find two interesting parts to say about my department. So the first one is a man, the people there. The second is the essence. If I have to describe people in electrical engineering into one word, then it would be... <laughs> no, yeah. No. Bizarre. Cheap neighbors. Strange. I will call it as strange. Yeah, otaku is one kind of strange, but I will conclude it all into one word. Bizarre. So I will show you why I call it bizarre. It is because to some, I learned, I know one of my classmates, he was sitting on a chair with his hands surrounding his knee and with a book on it. And I talked to him, hey, what are you reading? Then he answered me, no, I'm not reading. I'm calculating my homework. Calculating? Calculate the mathematics without your paper and your pen, only in your mind. Then I started to think, oh, okay, you are smart. Yeah. And another strange, uh, another special behavior person is that he is nearsighted and he already wore and progresses on his eyes. But when he is studying, he always take a magnifying glass to see the textbook. <laughs> so I started to wonder, what, what you need to do that? You already have your glass. And the last one, who is really excellent at grapes, has excellent grapes. He wants burn the midnight oil before midterm exam. Maybe you will say, you will say, oh, finally, a common people appear, a common person appear. But I have to tell you, he is not studying. He is playing computer games and using Facebook before the midterm exam. So from the above, you can see my department is filled with strange people. And in fact, I am one of them. <laughs> you know, the first strange point is I'm otaku. Okay. Yeah. And the second strange point is, you all know I like gold dragging. But do you ever wonder what I think when I go dragging? No. Girls? Hmm? No. Girls? No, 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 no. I try to prove. Some formulas, like the Taylor, the Cauchy's theorem, and the calculus. The theorems of mathematics, in my mind, just prove it. Oh. This is what I do when I go jogging. So I'm one of their members. Yeah. And the second interesting 
Ding Ding is a violation, and this picture can describe it well. On the top is one our professors will teach. Quite easy, right? But on the second picture is what we do as our homework. Quite challenging. But what the last one is what we have in our exams. It always makes me wonder, uh, did I learn this before? Uh, so this is another part. This is quite interesting. And this two interesting part is my electrical engineering life. During two years of my electrical engineering life, I have a lot of fun, in fact, and of course, a lot of memories. The memories like endless homework and exams, maybe, and the people there with different life experience, but still in the same department. And the friends there, and of course, don't forget the professor. It's a demon professor there, <laughs> who always try their best to see the limits of their students. <laughs> Uh, but I will, these are all my precious memories. And I will never forget the day we go out and have fun. And I will never forget the day we complain about the endless homework and exams. And I will never forget the day we play jokes on having few or even no girl in our department. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning before exams, we see each other, say hi with each other with a black circle on our eyes. And we show the beauty of sunrise the night before and the darkness of coffee. I will never forget this precious memory with my department. So you can see, this is electrical engineering and this is my department, TNE.